My name is uh, Pauline Wajiko Kibui, and um, I'm 29 years old. I have a background in uh, biomedical sciences, and prior to that I had a background in biomedical laboratory technology. I got selected as a MAC, more than a mother campaign, embryology trainer through the Kenya Fertility Association and through the doctor who is working in this facility. She got to, she knew that I'm qualified and she knew my profession. So she forwarded my name and they scrutinized my qualifications and indeed I was qualified. So they gave me the chance to represent Kenya in their biology training in, in, in Indonesia. Training a Kenyan embryologist and, a, a, and a, in Africa as a whole, it has much more benefits, especially to the entire population who are facing the infertility problems. And this will be of benefit because then their services will be available to, to the local citizens at a very good price and also the quality of services will, will be high. It is going to help me very many couples, and especially the women, because women are the ones who suffer the, the um, consequences of infertility, either if, if it's coming from the man or the woman. The woman takes all the blame. So for the women, it is going to be a good advantage because with this service, they'll be able to get a baby of their own and to be able to live like other women and to stop seeing themselves as inferior from other ladies. In Kenya and in Africa as a whole, infertility is a very sensitive topic. One being, there is no family or clan that does not want to have continuity of life. So being infertile then cuts short a generation, you know. But if there is bearing of children, then there is assurance of continuity of uh, a clan or a family and the name. So based on the African culture, a couple or a, a woman is not a, a woman until she gets a baby. But People still don't realize that even getting babies is a personal choice and it's, every human should have that right of deciding whether to have a baby or not. But being infertile has caused a lot of uh, problems, like the, many people even go into depression because then there is isolation from the family, from friends, there is that stigma that people go along with and at the end of it all they lose self-esteem. So you find that they cannot collect themselves up and do something on their own because they think the society is seeing me as an outcast, like I'm not worthy, I'm an inferior, I can't even advise the young kids what to do because someone doesn't have a child, which is a wrong perception. But then for people who are willing to have the children, they should be helped in case of infertility problems because Infertility has two levels. We have the primary and secondary levels. So if this person got secondary um, infertility or even primary fertility and they are willing to have a child, they shouldn't be able to access these services. The MAC Embryology's training in Indonesia will actually bring this sec sector into the limelight because it will then help the services be available to very many couples that are willing to bear a child through reducing the costs because when the MAC trains the Kenyan embryologist then the cost of um, getting embryologists from outside the country will cut down the cost of the, of the entire service. So the locals will be able to access this service at a reduced price, at an affordable price that they can uh, make to pay for so at the end of the day the patient will benefit a lot and it coming closer to their doors I think they should be able to access this service at any time and at any given moment and at their own convenience 
the mark more than a mother campaign should set the trend and now the health sector should actually put much more efforts in making sure that treatment of infertility is also incorporated into the health system you know because infertility is not treated as any other uh, ailments or is not covered by the health system so it's kind of it's a it's an optional thing but then it, it is caused by these other normal disease other normal diseases the reproductive diseases like endometriosis you know and if you can't access um, treatment of endometriosis then you eventually have infertility the government should be able to provide a, an option for treatment of you to regain the fertility that you should be able to exercise your right as of having a child. So all stakeholders should be involved and they should come on board to streamline even the guidelines on what should be done. The registrature should be there. How should the doctors and the biologists treat their patients? How should they handle their privacy or handle their specimen? To what extent should they engage the patient, you know? So it should have a regulation, it should have a lot of guidelines. It is a very sensitive area, so it should also be handled with a very high um, level of caution. It needs not just to be done for gain, monetary gain, but also for the value of the patient and the quality of life that they are going to have even after the treatment. So all stakeholders should be involved at whatever level they should be involved.